We now have a 10-minute rebuttal period when both Sam and Iman Sabri have an opportunity to uh, interact with the arguments that were introduced by the other speaker. This is not a time for new arguments, new material, an extension of the 25 minutes. It's an interaction with what the person who came before them has already said. So we will start first again with Sam. And Sam has 10 minutes to respond to what Iman Sabri has said to us in the last 25 minutes. Thank you, Sam. Thank you for that. And it was great that we can interact with each other. I guess the points that I hear from Imam Samson on this is that he has his perspective, the, Christian, the Islamic perspective, and the Christians have got their perspective. And I think that it raises the question for all of us is how do we decide? How do we decide between the two? Because we do have very different ones. As Imam Samson said, uh, the, the Quran says that Jesus didn't die on the cross and that he, uh, that he wasn't the son of God and uh, you know, we, have, we do have this different perspective here. It seems to me from what he was saying that the way that the Muslim answers this question is to say that the Bible has been changed. And so he mentioned on three times that the, the Gospel, the, the New Testament that we have is not the Injil that the Quran talks about and he spoke about the Jews changing the the scriptures before Jesus came and he spoke about the prophecies of Muhammad being removed although there may, there may be something there as well um, I want to suggest that that's actually not the way forward just to say the Christian Bible's been changed so w- when we're faced with, with these differences here Islam has one perspective, Christianity has another Christianity must be wrong because its book has been changed to make that claim you need to have some evidence you need to have evidence to make that And there is an abundance of manuscript evidence for the New Testament and the Bible. Uh, So the Dead Sea Scrolls, which you may have heard about, gave us uh, Old Testaments from before the time of Jesus. And they show that it's been well preserved. We've got uh, several thousand New Testaments uh, from the time of Jesus onwards. And again, uh, certainly from the time before Muhammad long before that, before that time. And so we can look at these, and scholars have looked at them, and they can see that there have only been very small changes, but because we have so many of them, it's actually fairly straightforward to identify where those changes have occurred. Uh, Imam Samson was saying that, uh, that, that Uthman standardised the Quran, and, and that is correct. I've actually got a quote on this one here. Where are we? Uh, this is just from Bukhari, one of the hadiths. It says that um, a man came to Uthman and said, O chief of believers, save this nation before they differ about the book, the Quran. So Uthman sent to every Muslim province one copy of what he had copied and ordered that all other Quranic materials, whether written in fragmentary manuscripts or whole copies, be burnt. And so there's this... uh, if, If you read the Hadith, particularly Bukhari, Book 61, in Khan's translation, it talks about people reciting the Quran differently and arguing about how to recite it. And so Uthman standardises one version and then there is a a wholesale burning to standardise one text. And so there were variants within the Quran as well. Please don't get me wrong. I'm not saying I believe it's corrupted. Neither is I saying that the Bible's corrupted. But I'm saying neither Christians or Muslims mustn't exaggerate because that's how it comes across to the Christian that the, the Bible is corrupted, the Quran is perfect, when if you actually go through the history, through the Hadith... There are examples of people with different verses arguing about them, having different surahs in their collections, a whole range of things. And so to say there's just Uthman's one and that's it, that's not quite the picture. In fact, even today, there are the different Qurayats of the Quran, which do have different letters, which are used around the world. This is the dominant one from the Turkish Empire, made dominant by the Turkish Empire, the Quran according to Imam Hafs, but... uh, uh, North Africa and Morocco used one according to Imam Wash. These are all Arabic. That's down in the Sudan, and that's... I, I'm not sure where that one is. But there's, there's ten accepted readings, and there are even Qurans with all the variant readings listed in the margin, and, and they do have different letters from time to time. Now, please don't mishear me. I'm not saying the Quran's corrupted, but I'm saying Christians and Muslims must not exaggerate. It's just not fair to say the Bible's corrupted, the Quran's perfect, when the fact is both books 
have small variations within their text. And we mustn't exaggerate. Both books have been well preserved, and that's my position, and that's where the evidence I would, uh, I would suggest points. Imam Samson made two claims that I'd appreciate to have verses from the Quran to show. One was that Adam was made in the image of God. I believe he said Adam was made in God's image. Um, uh, just whereabouts is that in the Quran, please? And also where he said that Ju- Judah, uh, sorry, um, Judas was made to look like Jesus. Whereabouts is that in the Quran? He also mentioned that Jesus in the in the Quran speaks from the cradle and makes birds from clay and uh, and indeed that that is what it says but it's interesting that modern scholarship has traced the sources of these stories and so it's called source criticism it's where they they read something and find out well where did this story come from and these stories and many others from the Quran have been traced to apocryphal writings from the 4th and 5th centuries and so that that needs to be counted that needs to be considered that the stories we find in the Quran actually come from these apocryphal writings from the 4th and 5th century. And in fact, many of the stories from the Quran come straight from the Jewish Talmud. And our scholars have traced these to, uh, to the commentaries that the Jews would write. They would write these stories. And so it seems that the sources that go into the Quran are this secondary, uh, secondary biblical literature. I look forward to hearing what he says uh, with my five historical questions. Mm-hmm. Finish there. I don't know where to begin here. I'll try from the last one that you made the mark about the Quran written in different uh, languages uh, from different uh, That's true because in Arabic writing we have something like ten different calligraphy. Like you have Arabic uh, calligraphy in your Roman writing, you can have many calligraphy. I learned a bit of calligraphy in the, the Roman writing, so it's the Arabic. In fact, I've not mastered it, but I knew about seven of them. And they all say the same thing. The Quran, just to, to be clear, the Quran, the Osmani Quran, is revealed to Prophet Muhammad through Archangel Gabriel. And before his death, he already memorized the Quran. In fact, on his last death day, uh, before he died on the last Ramadan, Ramadan is coming next month, he read it twice. Of course, Archangel Gabriel recited with him, make sure that he got it right. So the Quran, and many, many Muslims memorize the Quran, whether you are a um, white Australian who become a Muslim, whether I'm a Malay or an Arab or a Chinese, they'll read the same thing. When they say, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim, in the name of Allah, the merciful, the compassionate. It's not change the meaning. Of course, the translators will change it. Translators will change it. Yusuf Ali, the magnificent, eh? the merciful, rather than compassionate. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Praise be to Allah, ruler of the world. Another commentator will write, ruler of the universe. It could mean the same things. But the Arabic script does not change. That's one answer about the Quran, that the Quran is exactly the same as it was given to Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to Archangel Gabriel. And later it was written down. And even this, there were opposition because it was not written down during the time of Prophet Muhammad. It was written on bugs, on skin, on stones. And then with the wars that was waged against the Muslims at that time, many of the companions who memorized the Quran were gone. So... Abu Bakr, his father-in-law, was worried about the Quran will be missing and will be like the Torah, will be like the angels, like the Zabur, will be contaminated by mankind. So they was worried. But Allah also, and on this subject, he said, I give the Quran in Arabic, classical Arabic, so that I'll look after it myself. Nowadays, there are Quran in the internet, you can find in America, 169, I received three, three years ago, given to me, 116 chapters, huh? I was shocked. I took it home and put it in the fireplace. Because I knew that's not the true Quran. True Quran, but 114 chapters. Uh, he, our learned speaker about talking about the name Mariam, the mother of Jesus. Mariam is a common name, uh, an Arabic name. It could be Mary, becomes in English, but Mariam is a common name. 
Of course, as you said, uh, the cities could be ma- the mothers. There's no problem. Samson, I could be prophet. Samson and Delilah, right? You know the story of Samson and Delilah. He's a prophet. Long hair. If I grow long hair, I could become a Samson. So there'll be another Samson two thousand years later, or four thousand years. Okay, now. That about the death of Jesus on the cross, and this is in the Quran. I can give it to you the text. The Quran, uh, Allah says that that He replaced because what happened? Judas or Yahuda betrayed Jesus. Uh, he was paid thirty pieces of silver. And then, what happens there? Allah in mercy took Jesus to heaven before He was managed to be captured by the Roman soldier. So when he captured, he doesn't know who Jesus was, the soldier. So if I look like Samson of old, I could be the Samson that I'll be put in jail. Okay? Because I don't look, you know. God is clever. He can do anything. So he made Jesus to look like Jesus. So Jesus actually went to heaven. And that's the other thing. Jesus is going to come back on this earth. See, the rule of law, sunnatullah, we call it, we all die once. Of course, there are some exceptions, but most of us only will die once. We don't know what will happen to us in the hereafter. In our third stage of our life, in the, in the graveyard, and then on Yamul Kiyama, the day of judgment. We don't know what will happen. Even this event will happen again. Ah, I wish I've listened to you, Imam Sabri. Huh? I didn't believe you. What are you talking? It's rubbish from the Quran. When I was Billah. So, names does not mean that it's the same person. Mary is the blessed. He was, she was chosen. She was chosen. In fact, the uncle was fighting to look after Mary. And luckily, through lots, the rabbis were drawing lots. Who should look after Mary? All right? And he was fortunate enough. Zachary was fortunate enough to look after Mary. Uh, the next one. We talk about other prophets, uh, messengers, and uh, books being changed. Uh, this is the thing about, uh, I'll just uh, answer about the, 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 the Bible. So if you look at the present day Bible, the New Testament is according to Luke, Matthew, John, and St. James. Quran, Usama Quran, one Quran. One Quran, one God, one religion. Okay? But the Bible, they got so many versions. And then over time it changed. Things inside it changed. Christians were not allowed to eat Pope. Huh? But they were asked to fast. Do you fast? And so on. We were, the people of the books, the Jews, were ordered to fast. Because God says, you Muslim must fast. And pre- fasting is prescribed to you as it was prescribed to people before you, meaning the people of the book. So Christians were ordered to fast. How many Christians fast? Except, I met one, sorry, I met one, um, some Greek Orthodox on a plane coming from Cambridge to here, and we had a good chat because he saw my uh, Muslim food. Ha, gee, they got an uh, interesting meal and we had a chat. And she said, oh, you have to fast for 30 days but I can't hand, handle it. So I only fasted for 15 days. And what about you? Oh, I fasted for 30 days. I cannot eat or drink in the data. No sex, no smoke. Oh, that's hard. I can only, you know, I can do certain things and I find it very hard. So she only fasted for 15 days. So fasting was prescribed. The Jews, I met a Jewish friend. He got to fast 50 days. So fasting is prescribed to people. Oh, thank you. Um, I lost some of the notes here. The Dead Sea Scroll was mentioned earlier. Now, this is one of the Bible that we ask to, to observe because there, there is something there that is still quite authentic. See, the Quran says, believe in the books that's given to you. Allah actually said that in the Quran. Believe in the books, believe in the angels, believe on the day of judgment. Huh? Allah actually said that in the beginning of Surah Al-Baqarah, the cow. Huh? So here, the old books that has not been tempered by mankind, we have to follow. No problem. Because the Quran is not a copy of the Torah or the angel, because God sent it himself. Of course we are his copy, because we are his children. So, and, and, and the law that he said, Sunnatullah, the law that he gave to Moses, they got the law to Adam, is the same law. The same law. The Ten Commandments, you shall worship God alone. Not three in one, one in three, but one alone. And that was given to Adam, to Abraham, to Moses. So God says, if you worship me alone, you shall have no fear. Alone. You shall set no partner. 
you must not have no partner. As soon as you have set up some partner, even Muslim, as Muslims, if I believe in God but also believe in money, I worship money, I'll read down what they call shirk. Right? And God will punish me. Because for worshipping money, I love more money than my God. I don't want to pray, even though pray is only five times a day, maybe only five minutes. But for my love of money, I worship money, money is more important, I have done shirik. I have worshipped anything other than Allah. I lost some of the notes I make here. Is there anything that you'd like me to answer? To? Or there's some question later, is it? Yeah, I think I'll... Because I lost some of my notes here. Thank you very much for listening. <laughs>